Ladies and gentlemen, Clinton, the name Clinton is referenced 169 times across 106 pages, okay, in a 306-page document. Think about that for a second. Think about the fact that one dynasty or name, let's just say political dynasty or, you know, couple is mentioned, Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton, or just Hillary Clinton, is mentioned, or actually, mostly Hillary, there are times where Bill is mentioned, but the name Clinton, 106, no, more than that, more than a third, 169 times out of approaching two-thirds. Okay, the entire Durham report is about how Clinton set up Trump. And still... You look, the Daily Beast today is like, oh, Durham owes an apology. Um, for what? He's the one who told, the, he basically found out, and we already kind of knew most of it, or a lot of it, but we knew that Clinton set up Trump. Then, of course, it was, no, 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 that's just how business is done. And then the Durham uh, report showed that, no, Trump should never have been investigated by his direct political rivals through a steel dossier or through loyalists. <coughs> Excuse me. He should never have been investigated at all. That's what the Durham probe found out. Okay? All of the sanctimonious, like the all these sacred cows that Democrats worship when it suits them. Okay? Notice that when there's a demand for testimony during the Mueller probe, oh my goodness, this is our democracy at stake. And then when there's a demand... For testimony regarding the indictment in New York that was, of course, politically motivated by only New York Democrats, you have people saying, this, is a, this, this testimony is absurd. Why am I here? So they're back and forth all the time. They don't care about the process or democracy or the Constitution or the Republic. They care about political power, just like Republicans. But actually, Republicans have given away political power. They would rather have Trump lose in many respects. That's why I say if the Georgia and Arizona Republican parties, if the Georgia and Arizona Republican parties um, back Trump, then there's no stopping him. If they don't want to back Trump, then we'll have four years, four more years of uh, a miserably failed administration, both in terms of the economy and foreign policy. We're 90 seconds to midnight, according to the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists, closer than ever to a nuclear, God forbid, annihilation. And we have bank runs on the horizon, a recession, the economy is terrible. We had record highs in household median income and record low poverty with Trump in 2019 before Democrats, media, experts, bureaucrats pushed to tank the U.S. economy. And governors did that. Democratic governors. That wasn't Trump's fault. They had, uh, Trump could not tell a Democratic governor what to do in New York or Michigan or California. Okay, where these people gleefully just shut down economic activity. But anyway, um, you, you look at the entire, look, 169 references. So sorry, 169, 106 pages. So yeah, a third, over a third of the entire document is about Clinton and Actions by the Clinton campaign to promote Alpha Bank allegations um, about, you know, certain uh, agents who have been kicked out of the Bureau. So this is like, uh, it's really unbelievable. Papado okay, so Papadopoulos made no mention of Clinton emails, yet he was, he he, he was forced to plead guilty uh, by the Bureau. So he was basically, they, 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 set him up and frame hit subscribe to this channel right now ladies and gentlemen i think this vindicates my channel my writing my views for the past four or five years or so about four years let's see how long has this been 2019 or so this just vindicates everything that i've been saying and then the rebuttal as well nothing nobody's gonna it takes this is okay durham never indicted any never indicted anyone on conspiring to set up and frame Trump. Unfortunately, he, he could have done that. 
He did not have the political will. There's 18 U.S. Code 371. There was intent there to go after Trump. There are text messages. And there's behavior where people are utilizing their post to set up and frame Trump and prolong investigations when they know there's nothing there. They're utilizing the United States government against their direct political rivals, which is what they uh, claim Trump did. But Trump didn't do that in a phone call. He didn't withhold military assistance. This was absurd and, not, and completely like fabricated. But any allegation, you get a lot of people saying Trump did something bad and they're respected people, so then he got impeached. There was never any evidence that he withhold any assistance, not one shred of evidence. They used an ellipsis to say that Trump really meant something. Okay, here you have 169 references in 106 pages where Clinton is setting up Trump. The entire document is about Clinton, Hillary Clinton, and the Clinton campaign and the DNC and Bill Clinton. And so, well, mainly Hillary. The entire document is about Clinton. I remember years back when I was on the left, you'd have these progressive, well, who knows what progressive means today? Who knows? What, he, what is the left? What is the left? What is, what, how do you define it? But when I was the biggest Bernie Sanders booster on the internet, according to the Huffington Post, and the unofficial scribe of Sanders' most hardcore voters, according to the Washington Post, who wanted record low poverty, which is what I got with Trump, and Americans brought home from never-ending military conflict, which is what we had with Trump. That's like the best president you can ask for in Donald Trump. But of course, he's really mean, and uh, he says bad things, even though what Biden said to Charlemagne the God is infinitely worse than anything Trump has ever said. Because that, you can't take out of context. With Trump, they take, they spin everything. But you look, and people would say to me, well, how come you obsess over Clinton? And I was like, I don't, I don't dislike Bill or Hillary Clinton. The way, Democrat, the way Democrats, like, obsess. They have this disgust towards Trump. They've got themselves into such a frenzy. They've made themselves believe that they're actually morally superior to Trump, when in many respects, they're morally inferior. Okay, Biden, Joe Biden is morally inferior to Trump. We can go on forever with that, from the crime bill to what he was accused of, to ignore, to working with Hunter, to uh, the New York Post emails, where influence in those emails are be is being uh, asked for. Like, influence peddling is detailed within the emails to alter U.S. foreign policy. It's within the New York Post and Daily Mail. There are specific emails how can you use your influence on the company's behalf? The big man gets 10%. I'm, I'm not stating the verbatim, obviously, but there's specific emails that point to felonies. Nothing with Trump. With Trump, they have to fabricate and create and conjure up an indictment in New York. Because they've been talking about indicting Trump for seven years. They can't find anything, so they made, they just, everyone is laughing at that indictment. But anyway, the indictments in the Mueller probe were, oh, you lied to the bureau agent, and that bureau agent happened to be kicked out of, off, uh, of the, of the, of the, of the uh, department for unethical or, you know, worse behavior. And so you have all the people in the Mueller probe indicted because agents said they lied, not because they were working with another country. With, he, with the Durham probe report, Everything Trump said that he was set up and framed is vindicated and confirmed. Because he was. You can't just utilize a steel dossier purchased by Clinton and the DNC against Trump. And you can't just go after George Papadopoulos and say, oh, well, you know, we had to, we had to find out because Alexander Downer told us that he was talking about Clinton. Then we find out that Papadopoulos didn't talk about Clinton. So... The, the entire thing was Democrats going after the direct political rival, which is what they impeached Trump on. And <laughs> that's why I find it very hard to believe Hillary Clinton won't be the 24 nominee. I can't fathom that she won't be the 24 nominee. Anyway, give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe to this channel. Go to hagoodman.com to read my writing in The Hill, The Huffington Post, Salon, The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist, and other publications. Uh, my super thanks is below. Next to the like and the, and the share buttons. And uh, the Patreon is below as well. Hit subscribe to this channel. Thank you, everybody. Big, big day.